Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a really exciting new development in the world of AI video generation. We're gonna be checking out Bindweave, a video generation model created by ByteDance that's making waves for its impressive subject consistency. What does subject consistency mean? Well, simply put, it means that the model is designed to generate videos where the main subject remains consistent throughout the entire video. If you guys like this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. It would be much appreciated. Bindweave ensures that the face in the generated video closely matches the input image you provide. This opens up possibilities for creating realistic and believable videos. Let's head over to the GitHub page to get a better look at what Bindweave can do. On their GitHub, you'll find various examples showcasing the model's capabilities. You can see how it performs with a single human subject, generating videos where the person's appearance remains remarkably consistent, even with changes in pose, lighting, or background. What's even more impressive is that Bindweave can handle multiple consistent images within a single video. For example, they demonstrate scenarios with several people, ensuring that each individual's facial features remain distinct and consistent throughout the generated video. The examples include videos featuring well-known actresses, further highlighting the model's ability to maintain likeness. Beyond just humans, Bindweave can also maintain consistency for other objects, making it versatile for a wide range of video generation tasks. Now, let's jump over to the Hugging Face website. On Kijai's Hugging Face page, you'll find a very useful graph comparing Bindweave against other prominent video generation models, such as Vase, Phantom, and Kling. The graph visually represents the performance of each model across various metrics. It is evident that Bindweave achieves significantly higher scores, indicating superior overall performance. So, let's get into how to install and use it. On Hugging Face website, you'll find both the FP16 and FP8 versions of the model. The FP8 version offers a smaller file size and potentially faster inference speeds. I'll provide the direct link to the FP8 version in the description below for easy access. To install it, you'll need to download the model file and place it in the correct directory within your Comfy UI installation. Specifically, you should place the downloaded file into the Diffusion Models folder, which is located inside the Models folder within your Comfy UI directory. For our next example, we'll be using a different reference image of a woman. In this case, we're going to generate a video with 101 frames. Here is the prompt we are going to use. Let me just extend this so you can get a full view of this. With blonde hair wearing a blue. So I copied this prompt from over here. And exactly. So in this example, the pink tank top wasn't there fully. But another example, Ethos. I don't know why in this one. She isn't wearing the blue tank top, as I said. She's wearing the normal clothes. But the face, as you can see, is very consistent. She looks like this image right over here. And everything else, even the locket and bracelet on her hand, are very similar. So see around her neck? It's the same necklace she's wearing. So the detail is very, very good in this. So. We're gonna choose the same prompt and we just wanna use UniPC for the next 
example. For this example, as you can see, so in UniPC, the face has face is good, but it's not that much better than that. And the locket is there, but it's a different shape. So now we'll do multiple. So I build this workflow for multiple. And as you can see over here, we have changed the height and the width. We are using multi-batch image. And over here, you, as I said previously, you can use the Quinn embeddings as well, but I'm not using that because that's not necessary. I think so using the same model and yours, the prompt that we're gonna take in this one. So even this, I copied from the examples on the GitHub page, okay? Light gray sofa and everything else. We using DPM++ SD and six steps eight shift in this one. And this is the video that we got. As you can see, the gray sofa, the blue shirt, and everything else is as we said in the prompt. Okay, so this looks pretty good. The guy's face remains very consistent. The girl's a bit different. I think it's because she is smiling and her face has been widened up. Okay, now let's try UniPC. And this is what we get for UniPC looks pretty, pretty accurate. The faces are very good. So, so the only problem is she, I haven't done this. It's still on 16. Let's do it 25 and the motion will get better. And let's increase the num frames to extend the video duration. So we'll do DPM plus plus for the next example. So we're going to take this. So over here, I tried to change the image, but there's something going on and it didn't show me. So I took this girl right over here that we previously took. So this is the prompt. Let me show you guys the prompt taking selfie together in those settings, holding the smartphone in the right hand and everything. Okay. You can just pause and read the whole text if you want. Let me just close it at six steps, DPM plus plus. And I think DPM plus plus is the best setting in this one. So as you can see, this looks pretty accurate. I think both the, both the faces look very consistent. There's not, not much of a degree degradation in the faces. Okay. So now let's try one more example. So this is the prompt that we're going to take. Golden sand, bright scenery, beach setting, wearing a bikini. And here it is. So this is the image that we took the girl. So I didn't specify both the dress. So in my text from, I didn't specify the right girl wearing a bikini or something. So she's wearing the stock normal dress or the shirt in the reference image. So this girl's wearing a bikini, like I said. So guys, let's end this video right over here. If you guys like this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. It would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.